Hello and welcome to this week's Battle of the Ports, where we're taking a look at Wolfgang Kruger 2001, otherwise known as Roger Armed Force in Western Arcades. Released into the arcades in 1991, this Data East game is actually part of the Vapor Trail and Skull Fang series. Now the Western Arcade version of this game is awful, as so much is cut, including all the story sections, so we'll be sticking with the Japanese version. Wolfang is an unusual scrolling horizontal shooter, mainly because the player controls a mech which can be built or selected from three preset forms. Mechs can hover against slanted walls and occasionally land on higher platforms, as well as shooting in left and right directions, either horizontally or at 45 degree angles. You start along the shores of Australia and proceed to Sydney before being allowed to choose where to go from there. If the player continues to explore Australia, then they will have a variety of places to choose from, while if they pick New Zealand, then they will have even more different levels to choose from with different settings. While Wolfgang is not very popular outside of Japan, it thankfully was popular in Japan, which is why we have two ports to take a look at. The first part of Wolfang came to the PlayStation. It was released by Xing, but actually developed by Tsuji Jimusho. Yeah, I've never heard of them either, but surprisingly, they actually did the PlayStation port of In the Hunt and the Saturn port of Marvel Super Heroes. This PlayStation port came out on May 10th, 1996. At first, the game starts off with a dated CG intro and new ugly title screen that changes the two robots into bland CG models. Thankfully, going into the options, you can switch these back to the pixel art by selecting Arcade Mode. Talking of which, there are two modes in this port, Arcade and PlayStation. The PlayStation mode features a number of small tweaks, including changes to enemy patterns and item appearances. A dash and double jump have also been added, you can also choose the arcade music as well as a completely new Red Book audio soundtrack, which is not so great in my opinion. All of the briefings are now voiced too. Thankfully, these can be switched off, since they can't be skipped, which is rather annoying. The arcade mode is basically the same as the arcade game. Sadly, the PlayStation version has a lot of shimmering on the graphics, which do tend to make things look a little wobbly.
coming almost one year later, the Saturn port, also developed by Tsuji Jimsho, arrived on March 28th, 1997. This version contains all the extras found in the PlayStation release, but now also includes an extra stage and more sound options. We get stereo and mono options for both the arranged soundtrack and arcade soundtrack. Also, loading is a lot faster on the Saturn as normally is the case, and no loading when continuing. But best of all, no shimmering on the graphics makes this Saturn port as smooth as butter. Let's take a look at all three versions of Wolfgang running side by side. 